Hey guys. What were y'all doing in my backyard? Whoa! Why, hello boys and girls. Noticing that my, my hair is getting a little bit long. I mean, it's just like it's hard to get a haircut in Palm Beach County, but it's all good. One day I'll get my hair cut. It just seems like it was like yesterday since I shaved my head. So I had an unexpected visit from two guys. Um, they ring my doorbell and I try to respond back to them, but I have terrible reception on my phone in my job. And I didn't want to connect to the Wi-Fi because my job does like monitor activities through the internet. So I tried to respond back to them. I tried to go outside to get a better reception. And by the time I, I tried to uh, contact back to them, uh, they already left. I thought it was weird that they pulled in with two vehicles. Um, I don't know if they're solicitors or not though, but I wasn't really too worried because I have a really good security system at my house. Uh, when I got home, I checked around my house, to see if there's anything suspicious, nothing really going on, so I'm assuming they're solicitors. And then I got a second visit, this time with three people. I'm like, good morning to you, Barry, if I'm here right now. And I'm knocking the door, if nobody's open. Uh, let me know how to, how to show it to you, Barry. Thank you. Sorry. But once again, I try to respond back to him. I could it in a timely manner, and I was a bit concerned. Talked to my parts manager, parts manager is just like, yo, do you want to go? And I'm just like, uh, no, I'll, I'll monitor like, you know, my camera just to make sure there's like no like shenanigans and whatnot. Sure enough, they were there for about like five minutes and they already left. And when I got home, once again, I checked around the house, you know, nothing crazy. I had this weekend off. Um, on Friday night, I was playing Fantasy Star Online 2 with my friends. This was, this was Will during that dark fog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> game is tons of fun. Uh, if you're interested in playing with me, I am on ship one. Uh, my username is thewill.net. So on Saturday around afternoon, I took a nap and then I woke up around like 5 p.m. I heard a conversation. It sounded like it's like literally next to me. Sure enough, I looked through my window and I see those three people in my backyard. And I'm like, what the hell? So I didn't do anything. I was watching them and I just want to see what's going on. I'm like, you know, like thinking to myself, like, what, are they going to go to my patio? But uh, they went around my patio, and I do have a camera back there, but the thing is it's motion uh, detected. So if you're in my patio, it's going to turn on and it's going to start recording. But since they're around outside my patio, it didn't capture them. I was watching them, and they were staring at the water fountain that's in the center of the houses. So I see them walking away, but they didn't get inside my patio, so it looks like they're about to leave. So I'm like, oh snap. So I ran out of my room, and I'm like, wait, I had to turn back because... I was, you know, naked and um, don't want to walk out there with my twig and berries out. Put on my clothes, got my cell phone. Uh, I opened my garage door and this is what happened. Hey guys. What were y'all doing in my backyard? They were at the wrong house. They thought... We're going to push the house. <laughs> Yep. 
So after that confrontation, I went inside my house. I was tired, confused, and relieved at the same time. I'm glad my neighbors were there to clear things up. If it were for them, I would ask that group a bunch of questions. Oh, you're a realtor? Then how come you didn't go to the house that have a for sale sign in the front and you go to the house that doesn't have that sign? And I know I wasn't able to respond back through my ring doorbell in a timely manner, but like after a third time you realize like, you know, hmm, you know, shouldn't you be like, you know, calling the people who are selling the house, you know, schedule an appointment for them so they can do a tour around the house? I don't know, this seems weird at first. I had a terrible experience when I lived in my parents' house. That house got broken into twice. It's from two groups of people and it was like maybe like two or three years apart. So because of this experience, I made sure this house is well protected. Now the one thing I'm going to change now is like I'm going to have a better camera system in the back. Rather than having that motion sensor camera, I'm going to have a camera that's always on that's going to film the whole backyard patio and outside my patio well that's it my vlog hope you guys enjoy it as always hook a brother up like this video subscribe to my channel follow me on social media all that good stuff until then i'll see you guys next time peace